and welcome to the Mike Les Farmhand Mike YouTube channel, bringing you some of the biggest and best variety and definitely the most versatile farming content on social media today. You can find me on YouTube, Instagram, TikTok, and Facebook at Farmhand Mike. When you're running combine and have that view over there, that's just pretty awesome. That's almost as awesome as watching that Mike Les guy on YouTube. That is one good looking tractor in green car. Hey everyone, I am back visiting my dad for Easter weekend. Well, actually visiting all my relatives, but we got some beaver problems here on the Les Farm near Greenford, Ohio. So this is a normal creek crossing from the one field over to this other field, but check this out. So I had that in a video earlier last fall. I'll put the link to that video at the end of this one. But anyways, um, we're going to get the less excavating crew out here today. We're going to dig one of two dams out. And if the one dam will, you know, at least get this down a little bit lower, just going to leave it at that, leave the beavers be. But uh, anyways, so we're going to show you that excitement a little bit. But I'm going to take the razor across here. My dad's going to jump in. Uh, he's not going to take his Kubota through here. But uh, we'll take the razor through here and uh, see what happens. I think it's no more than, can't be much more than six feet deep. So I had to make it right across here, no problem. We're gonna cross the creek. Got Mike Sr. in here strapped in with me, so I think we can make it through. Like I said, it's about six foot, so shouldn't be much more than up to here when we go through there. So here we go. Because that's more skin play. So yeah. It ain't but good to well, stay, my door's not even closed. Stay, uh, I'm gonna open the door to see how high. Oh, it's in there. It's gonna be. Well, I may have exaggerated a little bit. It looks like it might be maybe two foot deep. We got water inside here. Look at that. We got about a four inch bluegill in here too. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's deeper than I thought. Oh, I should have looked at that pipe. And that pipe's underwater. That's yeah. because it was the water was about that much lower than the top of the pipe. So there we but go. I think it's sediment pond. Yeah. All right, we're going to head over about a half a mile from where we were, and this is the first beaver dam. This one we are not tearing out because this one, if this was tore out, this would disturb the beaver's lodge. So we're going to take another one out farther up the creek. Just want to show everybody this one we're going to now. Just sneaking through the back part of less contracting here. I don't actually have permission to drive here, but I'm pretty sure my Uncle George and Aunt Penny will be just fine with it. All right, now I think I'm on my dad's land, so I should be okay.
Oh, okay. But I found a beaver trap down here. In the other oh, really? Okay. No name on it. And here's a look at beaver dam number one. So beavers do not live in the dam. A lot of people think that when you rip out a beaver dam, they think you're destroying the beaver's house. Yeah. Beavers build dams to raise the water level, but they don't live in the dam. They live in a beaver lodge. And I'm going to fly my drone up here. So the dam they built here raises the water level, which they need for protection and so forth. And they have a beaver lodge farther up the creek here. So beavers will either live in a beaver lodge, beaver hut as we call it, and sometimes bank dens. So if there's like a hillside or a hump, uh, above the water level, a lot of times beavers will build a bank den as well. And sometimes they'll have both. There'll be uh, places where there's bank dens and a beaver lodge. So just come around here. So they raise the water level. And then right here by that tree, you're going to see a hump of dirt up here. And they build their beaver lodge or beaver hut out of mud and sticks and so forth. And it has an entrance coming in from the water side. So they have to swim through the water and then come in and they get above the water level. And then they got their nice little cozy house inside there so quite a construction uh beavers are actually a great animal for the ecosystem they can be very destructive too as they can eat down trees they dam up creeks the problem here is the dam they have farther up the creek is even higher and that's got the water so high that it's got the field towel and stuff coming out of the fields blocked up so the fields can't drain and at one point there's a yard up here that the water level is almost up to these people's yard so we're going to take out the dam farther up the creek and hopefully that's not going to disturb the beaver hut here because the water level here is not going to change. But it will drop the water level farther up for the field I was talking about. But as far as beavers in the ecosystem goes, when they raise a water level like this, they create a wetland habitat. So it's a great habitat for ducks, geese, fish, and so forth. But the problem is, in today's world, it can be very destructive because a lot of times they'll flood out people's yards, back up... Uh, drainage and so forth like that in some places they even uh, raise the water level above the road all right now we're going to head back to the other beaver dam that we're actually going to tear out or my uncle's going to tear out with his caterpillar excavator in a little bit can't make it nope because you know these tires are so fucked up i just sat there spinning uh. and I'll push it away. walk over to the beaver dam that's farther up the creek so see these uh twigs and these trees here these trees were chewed off years ago by beavers and then of course sprouts take off over there so beavers will chew down these trees and beavers don't actually eat the tree they eat the bark off the tree and the twigs and so forth like that they also eat like aquatic plants and stuff like that too but so if you got trees and you got beavers nearby they're going to do a lot of damage taking them down but uh, anyways, once they eat the bark and stuff off the, the limbs and so forth, they use those to build their beaver dam and their hut and so forth. So this dam right here, you see the water level is higher, but the water level on the bottom side of this, that is the same water level that the dam I showed you earlier in the video created. So I think if we just dig this one out right here, it's not going to disturb, disturb the water level at the beaver's hut, but it's going to get the water down at least in the fields and up in the people's yard and so forth. <laughs> all right now farther up the creek here you see how the land is higher than the creek so they could actually have some bank dens or possibly built bank dens up here and a lot of times in a creek you'll see where they'll dam it in several spots because there's several families of beavers up and down the creek and that's how they make their habitat And here 
here comes my Uncle George and his Cat 313F Excavator. So I tried to move around, was going to film him going across here, but as you can see, the excavator sunk in. So I walked across here and it was pretty solid other than the water on top, but it's too much for the excavator and he dug in. So he's going to try to come in from another spot and get to the dam. Just have to move a few briars out of the way. His excavator is just going to get stuck again, so I'm going to go up here and jump in one of his Kubota skid loaders, and he's got some mats up here that we're going to hold down to the creek, and he can place them. That way he's got something firm he can drive across to get to the beaver dam. And now I get to drive a Kubota track skid loader.
two at a time down here, but it was more than a skid loader to pick up, so one at a time it is. Want me to turn them this way? No, I can okay.
look at all those building materials. It's really amazing what a few rodents can do. And even if you trap all the beavers out of here in a few more years, some more will migrate here. And it's kind of funny how they always build their dam in the exact same places. Like they just have the gift of surveying an area and know what they need to do to make a habitat. Here we are the very next morning. You can see as I cross here, the water level has went down quite a bit. So this is actually okay. So we did not disturb the beavers home and stuff like this. So if they don't build another dam, I think everybody can live with what's going on right here. I should just mention again, no beavers were harmed during this video. So you can kind of see right there where the water level was and where it is now. So until they build another dam, I think this is all good. I can see a lot of the field tiles are exposed now. So yeah, we should be good to go here. And I'd say this is pretty much what the water level was before that dam was built. We'll just go up here and see what my dad and cousin John think about the whole thing. Yesterday, before we started this whole deal, that white tile you see right there was completely submerged underwater. So yeah. The creek can stay like this, and that's just fine with everybody. Huh? And here is some drone surveillance from the very next day. So right there, I'm about at the lodge, so we're going to fly up here to where the dam actually was. But the creek is nice and still, and as I said earlier, if the water stays at this level, everybody can live with that and just take you up here. Now, normally when you take out a whole dam like this, they just don't come back and build it up right away. So they probably will. Like I would guarantee, unless these beavers are trapped out of here, which is not going to happen because the season's over, um, they're probably not going to touch this for a while. But you can see right there where the dam was. And 
Now gonna fly back to the other dam, so just go down the creek here. But when I was a kid, this was pretty much just a single creek, and uh, because they dammed this up, it has these extra channels and so forth. So this was actually a cow pasture that a neighboring farm had that connected to my grandpa's place, and now my dad owns right up to here. So anyways, uh, just neat how this all works. But my dad talks about when he was a kid, there was a lot of beavers in this creek, and my grandpa used to blow the dams out with dynamite and so forth. Of course, you can't do that anymore. Well, you can, I guess, but anyways, there's other ways. And here's just another look at the crossing so you can see where the water level was and where it is now. So the waters went down considerably overnight. I can now walk across here where, you know, yesterday uh, there was parts where my razor tire was completely submerged. Hopefully we made peace with the beavers. What's that? Yeah. <laughs> Here's the old two by six. That must have floated down the even the beavers are getting lazy. They're going to Home Depot and buying supplies. There was a little bit of a situation. I went into a turn trying to do a donut just a little too fast. I did a complete roll and a half and landed on my side. So, as you can see, my dad pulled me over with the Kubota and I popped a tire off the rim. So I think I need beadlock rims, really. And somehow I broke my eye watch. I really don't know how because I was restrained in. My hands were on the steering wheel. But Hold on. anyways, um, I carry a jack and so yeah. forth in here. Went to jack it up. And then my Uncle George was close by. So he come over with the cat loader. Picked me up. I changed the tire. Uh, regrouped. I hit pretty hard. I was seeing stars after this. And... Uh, my shoulder went into the restraint pretty hard, and uh, shoulder hurts a little bit. Got but other it. than that, um, it just happened so fast, I really don't remember. But the razor's okay, and yeah, a little yeah. bit of damage, but nothing serious. And I'm okay, so just trying to figure the whole thing out here. Her. Yeah, then you only went up. You only, well, her. But the thing is, you can see the tire work. You were going this way. But when it was all said and done, I, I it was going that way. Yeah, so I more so I come around, I come around, and then apparently, but that well, must this is where you, that must be where the roof dug in, huh? Well, no, didn't or, you use the shovel somewhere? Well, or we jacked it up here, but we, 
I, I was. I, here's probably where we jacked it up. Well, here's where we were standing. <laughs> this is. Okay, so. So somehow. So one of these has to be. The roof's got a bunch of dirt in it in that one corner. One of these has to be. you kind of get the idea what happened anyways as i said earlier it happened so fast as soon as i hit the ground and stopped i turned the key off immediately undid my restraint climbed out was seeing stars my dad pulled me over and we changed the tire started the razor back up everything was good and yeah here we are i won't do that again that's going to do it for this video. I hope everyone enjoyed it. Feel free to hit that like button and comment below. And if you are new to my YouTube channel, please go down there and hit that subscribe button. Again, remember, no beavers were harmed during this video. Anyways, if you want to see more of what I'm doing, you can also find me on Instagram, Facebook, and TikTok at FarmHandMike. And as always, thanks for watching and supporting my social media.